got Taylor Swift, and now we got this, and we have got what? We have the actual cheese curds from 1983. I mean, not the actual ones that were made in 1983. I mean, like the recipe. Incredible food here. Uh, we have got Rusty Taco. I know we've got Rusty Taco. Anchor Fish and Chef. Yeah, we've got Soul Bowl. Yeah, you name. Okay, I'm not going to get in trouble. <laughs> but what we also have here are some incredible leaders in addition to the mayor and the council member, Bobby Joe Champion, who I'm going to introduce shortly. We have State Senator John Hoffman, who worked on this. Uh, we have got former State Senator Jerry Newton, who is here. Thank you for coming back. Uh, we've got Jonathan Weinhagen and Steve Kramer uh, that have been working so hard uh, to bring back our downtown. And we're so excited about the plans that are in place. And then, of course, we have Fancy Ray with us. like so many of our Minnesota chefs, Andrew Zimmern is with us. And maybe you have seen him on Bizarre Foods. Um, yeah, but he's not peddling those today, I don't think. No, just those 1983 cheese curds. So here's the deal. Minneapolis is back. We are so proud of it. We have been through a lot. You all know this. Across the United States, all separated into 300 million silos. And now we are coming back together again. So this is a chance, as this goes on through the next two days, to tell your friends, to tell your neighbors, to come out on Nicollet Mall, to have some fun, eat some food, and get together again. We are back, Minneapolis, and it is an honor to be in Taste of Minnesota. It is my next honor to introduce uh, an incredible champion for our sis, for our great city. Yeah, I'm sure he's never heard that before. So we have here with us one important because he is the president of the state senate. Uh, works with right. Majority Leader Kerry Dasick every day. He is someone that every single morning wakes up and cares about his district. And here is the most important thing of all. He represents this district. And he is president of the Minnesota State Senate. And he is the first person of color to be president of the Minnesota State